Hello friends, today let's look how to install RAM in Asus VivoBook. The Asus VivoBook, uh, the one which I have purchased is the laptop which you are seeing now in which we are adding the RAM is Asus VivoBook X5, X1502ZA model which comes with Core i5 12 gen processor, 8 GB RAM which is already soldered to the motherboard and 512 GB SSD and it, it comes with an empty slot where you can add an additional RAM of up to 16 GB in the additional slot. So totally the RAM can be upgraded till 24 GB. 8 GB which comes in the uh, which comes soldered to the motherboard and you can add, add, add an additional of 16 GB and this is the RAM that I have added. This is the 16 GB Transcend Jet RAM DDR4 uh, which supports 3200 MHz clock speed. As you can see the price mentioned on the uh, package is 12999 but I have purchased it for 4700 rupees uh, in Amazon. I would be posting the link of this RAM as well as the laptop in the description. Please do use the links to purchase these products. So now let me uh, unpack this, uh, let me take the RAM out and show you. This is a sodium module. Please make sure if you have the same uh, laptop, the X, X1, Asus VivoBook X1502ZA, you can just go ahead and purchase this RAM as I have, uh, I am using this RAM for the past one month without any issues, more than a month now, it is more than a month now that I have purchased the laptop and the RAM and I am using both, uh, I have installed this and I am using it for more than a month now and I am not facing any issues, the laptop is working quite good and this is the RAM, JM3200HSC-16G. So it is, uh, I'll post the links of uh, this RAM and the laptop in the description. You can use the links for purchasing this. So this is the RAM as you can see, this is how it looks. It's a sodium module, one hour into eight. So this is a DDR4, 3200 MHz RAM. So let me show you, I'll go, I'll show you the step by step process on how to take the back panel out of the laptop, uh, take the back panel out insert the RAM, fix the back panel and check whether the RAM is properly installed or not and it's working or not. So now, now that we have opened uh, the RAM, let's go ahead and take the back, back panel. This is the Asus VivoBook. This is the uh, Ice Light Silver Color Laptop. You can see the model number X1502ZA EJ502WS. So you have 10 screws to the back panel. So you have to remove all the 10 screws to act to take the back panel out and access the RAM slot. So this is the uh, pin uh, screwdriver pin that I have used and as you can see I am re removing first the bottom most uh, screws and keep keep the screws separately. I mean uh, the bottom screws are uh, very small in size compared to the uh, other six screws. Let me show you. As you can see, this is the bottom screw. You can see the size of the screw. It is very small. Okay. So now uh, I'll show you. I'll show you each and every screw. Once uh, so the bottom four screws are very uh, very small in size, whereas the other six screws, I mean the middle screws and the topmost screws, which you can see now, they are actually bigger than the bottommost screws. So keep the screws. Properly, I mean, uh, separate the bottom, keep the bottom screws separate and make sure that you keep all the 10 screws properly and don't miss them. They are quite tiny. See, you can see that the middle screw is a bit bigger compared to the bottom screws. So make sure to remove all the 10 screws and you have to, and it's not, it's, it's a very simple thing. You can just install the RAM in 10 to 15 minutes. That's the maximum time that you take to install the RAM. And if you follow the exact same steps, it's very easy. So as you can see now I have already removed this is the sixth screw. So we have removed the bottom most screws and the middle screws. Let's remove the top uh, three more screws. All, for all the screws the screwdriver is the same. But only thing is the bottom four screws are a bit less in size compared to the top uh, six, screw, six screws, the middle and the top uh, screws. So the top and the middle screws are of the same size. So you can even if they get mixed, no issues, but the bottom screws are small in size. Uh, just keep a note of it. And as you can see in this laptop, the bottom has lot of air vents and the bottom, uh, I mean to the back, there are a lot of air vents and to the bottom left and right, you have two uh, grills. Those are the speaker grills. It comes with two down firing speakers. So those are the speaker grills. I'll show you after removing the panel, I'll show you the speaker. I'll show you the uh, SSD, I'll show you the RAM slot, RAM, slot, RAM slot, I'll show you the cooling uh, fan. See, as you can see, 
now that we have removed all the 10 screws use an old debit card or credit card or any sort of card things such that it should not be a sharp object as you can see you just insert it in between the back panel and the frame and you just keep pulling it so that all the pins you can hear the sound you can hear the clips getting loosened sound the clips getting loosened and you can hear that once you pull it across the frame all the clips will get lo loosened and the back frame can be easily taken out you just have to do this this one step is what it takes a bit of uh, time and it takes a bit of uh, energy as you can see the clips have loosened you can see those are the clips which gets attached to the frame so now that i have uh, pulled this card along the back panel the clips have loosened and that's it you can remove the panel so this is how the panel looks and you can see the model number for your reference EX1502ZA is EJ502WS so as you can see once you open the back panel this is how the laptop looks you can see the battery the lithium ion battery you can see this is the empty RAM, so RAM slot I'll show you I'll show you how to insert the RAM as well the 16 GB additional RAM so 8 GB is already internal which is soldered to the motherboard so you cannot take that out you have an extra slot in which you can install another 16 GB so this is the SSD Intel SSD I'll show you that as well that is the empty RAM, RAM slot and these are the speakers two tiny speakers so let me take the laptop and show you properly yeah now so these are the speakers these tiny round black ones are the speakers okay and this is the lithium ion battery as you can see it is 42 watt hour lithium ion battery so this is the SSD Intel SSD 670p is the model number and then this is the Wi-Fi 6 chip you can see MediaTek model Wi-Fi 6 chip and then this is the empty RAM slot where we are going to insert our 16 GB RAM and these are the USB ports, HDMI port, the microphone port and the charging port this comes to the right of your laptop this will be to the right of your laptop because we are seeing backwards you can see that as the left and this is the cooling uh, copper cooling things and this is the place where the screen is uh, connected to the motherboard and these are the cooling uh, this is all cooling system you have the fan and you have the copper concentric uh, circles and this is the uh, that is one more usb and this is how this is these are the most of the parts we have covered this is how it looks from the back now let's go ahead and insert the ram as you can see this is the same ram which we have unpacked this ram costs 4700 rupees 16 gb ram i have purchased for 4700 rupees from amazon i would be posting the screenshots of the order details to the end of the screen for your reference you have to insert the ram in the slot at a 45 degrees angle and push it down so that you can hear the click sound of the clips holding the ram so as you can see the ram is tightly fit and snug fit you just have to insert into the slot at a 45 degrees angle and push it down so that the clips hold the ram tightly in that slot so now that you have inserted the ram let's go ahead and fix the back plate so back plate fixing is even more easy you just have to place it uh, place it properly and then push such that uh, apply pressure on the back plate such that all the clips are uh, are uh, pushed into the position and the back plate is stuck is uh, attached to the frame tightly so as you can see now now that you have just have to push it like that you can see you did you just push along the back plane on the four sides so that all the clips are attached to the frame tightly after that you can just uh, tight ah, so now now that we have uh, pushed everything into the place just go ahead and tighten the screws make sure that you put the small screws at the bottom and the bigger screws on the top six uh, 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 top six uh, places and all the bottom the small screws are at the bottom four uh, points as you can see these are the four points where you have to tighten the small screws in size these screws are small in size these four screws are small in size when compared to the other six screws so you have to tighten the same way how you have uh, loosened them and this whole process should not take more than 10 to 15 minutes and the laptop is uh, quite fast even though it is fast without adding the 16 GB RAM as I, as I do a lot of multitasking and all I wanted to add more RAM and this was the reason for purchasing this uh, laptop as well as we can expand 16 GB 
and this laptop already comes with 8 GB making it a total of 24 GB RAM and after adding this RAM when you purchase this laptop this laptop supports Iris XE but when you purchase this laptop it doesn't show Iris XE in the task manager as it has only one 8 GB RAM uh, installed in the uh, motherboard but when you add the additional 8 GB or 16 GB slot the Iris XE gets enabled and I will show you that as well uh, in the task manager you can see that the Iris XE gets enabled and half of the RAM is uh, added to the Iris XE so now we have uh, almost uh, done tightening the screws so once the screws are uh, done we will just turn on the laptop and I will show you the, whether the RAM whatever the RAM that we have added uh, whether it is uh, sh properly uh, showing in the system or not by opening the task manager and showing you so this is how you have to add the RAM in Asus Vivo book and to be precise if you want to add a RAM for the exact same model then you just have to follow this video and now that I can see we have fixed all the 10 screws and there are no more uh, openings uh, all the clips are uh, pushed tightly into the frame as you can see everything is pushed tightly into the frame uh, no gaps or anything you just have a check you just have a look and then you can turn let me turn on the laptop and show you the RAM that we have installed whether it is properly done or not this this uh, laptop color looks really good i don't know i mean here due to the light reflection and all it's not looking that good in the camera but actually the light looks the color of this laptop looks really good it's not silver it's a little bit blue, blue tinge to the silver and this laptop is quite fast as you can see now the boot up take, takes just five seconds see now right now it's on and it comes with the fingerprint scanner so uh, the fingerprint scanner is also very fast once you just touch it it unlocks uh, it recognizes and unlocks so let me open the task manager so as you can see now uh, let me go to performance tab and yeah as you can see now the gpu it is showing intel iris xe before adding prior to adding this room it, this ram it was showing uhd intel uhd graphics but now it is already showing intel iris xe which got enabled and you can see the memory which is 24 gb through the top right you can see 24 gb and both two of the two slots are used and both are working on 3200 megahertz ram so with this the ram addition to the asus vivo book is done guys it takes a lot of effort and time in making these videos please do support my channel by hitting the like button and do subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like this video a link for the product is posted in the description you can use these links for purchasing the products thank you for watching have a great day